All right, guys. We're back. It's uh, Monday, and uh, my uh, shaft mount valve springs will finally come in. Or got here. So anyway, I figured we'd go ahead and bust his head off. I got a couple of springs already off, and uh, figured we'd see how it's done. So we'll see what's in this head, under this head, all at the same time. thing took off, you can take off, and I'll get right back with you guys and we'll pop his head off. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I went ahead and got sidetracked and snatched the head right on off. But, uh, look, number six cylinder right there is the one that had dropped the valve. And I'm not seeing, I mean, at first I thought, that line right there but it's not it's just a difference in the two heights of the valve reliefs um i don't know what that a little dink right there and one right there i'm not seeing them on none of the other pistons so i don't know what that's called from i'm not sure i don't see no way a valve could have hit it there but Get some brake clean out here. 
All right, so that's number six. Um, I, I just don't understand. Well, that one can't break clean. How oh, I could have been lucky enough not to destroy a piston or a head, something. My, my luck's just not that way. Let me get you on the tripod and then I can, I can sit here and maybe clean this and y'all can see what's going on. got to looking back and the last time that I actually run this thing um, was in the on around bracket racing and I blew high gear out of it so evidently it broke that lock Somewhere, I'm thinking, after high gear went out, and I don't know, I'm just trying to make a logical understanding. See well, we can't see where that valve maybe something right there, I'm not sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mm. There she is. Just like that. So that was number six right there. Make sure we're looking at the right one here. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Huh, strange. Strange that I could be that lucky. Well, I'm typically not the one that's that lucky. Typically, I'm not anyway, it's so. uh. But I will uh, I'll save my body that built this motor. I mean that's what he does for a living, build these these race motors. But let's come back and look at his piston again. See it or not. But I mean that just don't get much much better than that. I'm gonna get it a little, a little closer at it. See them dinks, whatever they are. I don't, I don't know why. You know, it's dead center of exhaust, dead center of intake, and uh, not on number eight, not on two, not on four. Any ideas? I, mean, I can't catch it. Just barely. Huh, that's strange, isn't it? Anyway, I'm sure blessed that that's all the problem is. And uh, we'll get this stuff cleaned up and I'll get with Randy and get another head gasket, set of intake gaskets, and we can put this mama back together and uh, rough her on if he's got one. Um, he said he may have some, or he didn't. He knew he had some that were 1.65s. You know, where mine are 1.7s, and I don't see what that's going to make a a huge difference. I mean, but. I've looked all online, I cannot find any 1.7s um, anywhere. So, I don't know. We'll do something. If it's wrong, we'll do something. We gotta get back on. Something. Got too many projects going here. Uh, get that. At least we know that I don't have to stress over this motor being destroyed anymore. Uh, I don't worry.
worry about that anymore. We can get that ready to go back together. And I made a, since yesterday's video, well, I got you guys, we'll show you all this too. Um, while I'm doing this radiator support, I changed <laughs> to uh, now it's uh, which I don't have it welded yet. <clears throat> but I put the round pipe. Um, I cut the angle iron off the bottom of it. I don't know if y'all can even see it. I have you drunk as a skunk moving this camera all around. But I had it welded with that one inch angle all the way there and over there the same way when I got thinking last night shoot if I wanted to put a swap of cam had the motor on the run stand whatever and I wanted to put a cam in it change cams I had to take the radiator out so and you know and then that thing slid way out there and takes up a lot of space so now what I come up with last night, well, uh, I hadn't welded yet, I just got it clamped. Two foot piece of inch and a quarter black pipe, one over there and one over here. Then welded a two foot piece of one inch on either corner, cut the angle off, and then they slide right in, it slides right in. I could actually take it off completely if I wanted to use it just as a regular engine stand. And so, well, you know, I'll have a weld that inch and a quarter weld it in place and drill this and pin it. But I'll be able to slide that out. The radiator support, slide it out if you want to change a cam or like I say, whatever. Whatever you needed to do, you have that option. And it won't take up as much space. I mean, I don't have a 24 by 24 shop, so I don't have a huge shop to be rolling it over in the corner out of the way. But anyway, that's what I've been piddling on this morning, and then FedEx brought the valve spring tool, so I figured we'd jump on that and uh, make a day of it. So that's what we've done. We've been out here piddling on this thing about all day. But anyway, that's uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I took uh, one other thing. Well, I had that radiator setting in there on that piece of homemade channel there I cut a uh, this morning cut a two before block that sits in there it can't go anywhere and mortised out holes on each end for the rubber grommets on the bottom of the radiator so it'll drop right into that, and then I'll just have to fasten the top up there, and then it'll be sitting on something soft. We'll be sitting there chafing it with metal. And we'll have to worry about the radiator walking back and forth or any of that kind of stuff. So, anyway, I got carpenter blood in me. I guess my dad was one all his life, so I got to put a two before somewhere. But anyway, that's what we got, guys. And we will... See y'all later. I'll get right to get some head gaskets or get back on this engine stand tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I figured I'd let y'all know about these heads. All right. See ya.